Well, thanks, Daniel, for uh, joining us. Uh, really appreciate you taking a few minutes here. Uh, we're getting pretty close to, to the start of a new school year. I know it'll be pretty different. Normally, you guys would be, you know, your season would be starting right about now. Uh, unfortunately, not the case, but um, I know you guys have been uh, been back practicing quite a bit now, which is nice. Um, you know, must have been pretty pretty thrilling, honestly, I assume, to, to finally get back and see each other again and, and actually get back out on the pitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, especially because, like, with how quick everything um, happened right back in March, uh, I wasn't able to see goodbye goodbye to, like, a bunch of the guys. So um, it's been a really long time. And, like, uh, yeah, it was just good to, like, see everybody again and, like, get back on the field with them. And, um, yeah, it's it kind of crazy what happened. So crazy how quick everything moved. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. I guess had you guys just started your your spring training sessions basically, and then maybe yeah. a few days into that, <laughs> and you had to stop. No. Is that what kind of happened? Yeah, yeah, we were meant to be going to like Victoria and like Seattle, I think, um, pretty much like a couple weeks or like if not maybe a week um, right before like all that happened. So um, yeah, it's kind of too bad. Everybody was kind of like looking forward to like doing those trips, but then uh, obviously and understandably, it all got canceled. So. Yeah. What um, what did uh, your summer look like, and when did you head back to back home to Calgary, and and what did you get up to uh, once you got home before you were able to get back out training again? Yeah, uh, so, yeah. So I went back um, around like March twentieth or so, and then um, and then yeah, basically from there on, it was just kind of uh, like finishing the classes online, like getting used to that. Um, I have like a family; it's a family of five, so and everybody was at home, and we all had to like figure out like your own like office space everybody's doing some cool work everybody's doing their own work so figuring that out like as i'm sure a lot of other people had to do um and uh yeah and then just staying trying to stay fit as much as you can and like motivated um obviously that was like a little bit tough but um and then yeah make the most out of maybe not even having some soccer make the most out of like we got the mountains close in calgary so went out there a bunch um and yeah just uh get stays that like after not seeing the family for a while it was nice to see them um for like an extended period of time so yeah, it was good now your uh your brother was uh he's starting this year right at ubc yeah. so not here just yet but but he'll be joining you soon um how different will that be to to have him around obviously you're, you'll be looking forward to playing with him but uh but maybe it'll be kind of nice especially for him to to have you there given that everything that is happening i mean maybe it'll be uh all that more nice to have to have a family member here oh yeah yeah no definitely i'm really looking forward to him to coming out and like he's really excited um we're very close so uh he's basically like my best friend anyway so like it'll just be nice having him out here and like um and yeah Jared, given like the situation it'll be nice like uh to have him here and like um you know help him through kind of what's kind of like a weird first year for him for sure um, going into engineering, I mean, I won't be able to help him with any of the schoolwork, I'm sure, but um, at least, like, in terms of living on his own, he's never done that, so uh, obviously that'll be really nice, and nice for me as well to have somebody um, that knows me so well uh, out here, so um, I'm really looking forward to it. So in your first two years at, at UBC, you went to Nationals both times, and that's the expectation, obviously, for your team, right, is to go there every year. You won't have that chance this year, as nobody will, but how much hungrier do you think that everyone's going to be uh, to get back there again, you know, next season, uh, hopefully we can uh, get a regular year in again. Oh, absolutely. And like, um, yeah, obviously it sucks. And like, I was gutted um, when I heard like the news that it got canceled because yeah, like you said, like that's obviously the goal. And um, we've had some disappointing results like in nationals the last two years I've been here. So um, yeah, I was pretty gutted that we're going to have to wait another full year to get back there. But I mean, at the same time, uh, this is a good opportunity and if things open up a little bit more and we're able to get back as a team fully training full contact I mean I think this is a great opportunity to you know really build our strength as like a team and um, and then yeah like you said next year once it's uh, once we're able to like hopefully have the nationals um, I mean I'm sure every team will be really hungry and it'll be a it'll be a really good battle so um, yeah I think I think just you know try to have the attitude that like this this year just get better um, as a team see what happens um major league sports have been back in north america for a bit now but but before that uh, soccer especially in europe had been going for a while 
Um, what have you been enjoying watching on TV? Obviously, we just had the, the Champions League final the other day. Um, what's been keeping you busy uh, in terms of sports on TV or, or maybe other stuff that you've been doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, every, like, I've been watching everything. As soon as – like, that was honestly probably one of the worst things um, once, like, everything locked down is, like, you're at, you're at home. At, at least I'd like to be watching some, like, sports and stuff. So I probably watched about every single documentary you could think of. Um, but yeah, basically I think like the Bundesliga, the German league started first. So I watched like almost every game. Um, I was fortunate enough to play with like Alfonso, um, when I was here in Vancouver, when I was in, uh, going through the residency. Um, so obviously I was following him the whole way. And then, yeah, uh, whenever he, on Sunday when he won it, obviously it was unreal. Um, so I've been watching lots of that. Um, even like the NHL playoffs, I've been watching that a lot. Um, I have a family like pool that we do always. So. Um, watching that, I'm not doing too great, but I mean, that's I guess what you could expect from a soccer player doing an NHL pool. Um, and yeah, just like watching all the and NBA and everything. So uh, th that's been nice that everything's kind of gotten back going. You mentioned, you know, playing with and, and training with Alfonso Davies. Uh, you just yeah. expand a bit on that. How, how unreal was it to see him in that moment? You know, at the, the highest level basically possible in club sport at his age. And I mean, having a bit more intimate knowledge of him as a person, you know, what was going through your mind when you saw that? Oh, I mean, like this whole time, like with, with his like spell at Byron, like it's just been surreal. Uh, Cause like, I remember him like even just talking about some, like, you know, he was like us, like a guy like playing FIFA and you'd be playing with Bayern Munich and you see all these players. Um, and now he's like teammates with them or playing against them, playing against Messi, like, you know, it was a really, really surreal moment. Um, and then to see him win it all was like, even just like the cherry on top, like it was like, what the heck? Like within the spell that he did it too, was just ridiculous that like, what I think he signed like his first pro contract at 15 and now like, four years later, he's, he's just won the Champions League. So, I mean, pretty, pretty surreal really. And it's like unbelievable for Canada soccer and like being young Canadian kids, seeing that, like that's just unbelievable stuff. So. Uh, with school starting here in, in a couple weeks, uh, I guess, are you taking everything online and, and what is your uh, schedule going to look like? And, and I guess, are there some, maybe some benefits to this in terms of being able to juggle training and school? Uh, I guess it'll take a bit of getting used to though. Yeah, no, definitely. We'll take a bit getting used to it. I mean, um, you got to do it. Uh, I never, I, I took a few online courses in my first two years and I was never, I realized maybe they weren't for me it's funny because like literally I was saying that like maybe a month before the pandemic started I was like I've never taken an online course again because I I, I I struggled with it um but uh yeah it's gonna take a little bit to get used to it. I mean you gotta do it I'm taking a bigger course load this year for sure now because of like the lack of traveling we'll be doing um with soccer and everything so I decided that maybe this year to do that so I mean, it's going to be weird, but everybody's got to do it, and we're all in it together, right? So, let's see how it goes. Awesome. Well, thanks, Daniel, for uh, for taking the time to chat, and um, good to have you back uh, on campus. Uh, although a bit of a quieter campus, I guess. Yeah. But uh, good luck uh, this uh, this coming semester, and uh, hopefully see you out there real soon. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate it.